Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's what to do if your hot point washing machine is not draining water. I'll take you through all the steps on what to check and then hopefully we'll get your hot point washing machine working again. Now what should happen with your washing machine is it should do a nice wash and then on the final rinse it should drain all the water out of the machine. But if your washing machine is not draining water there will be lots of water still inside the drum. Before you try and open the door you can try this pump out option to see if you can get rid of the water. If the pump out option doesn't work and the door is stuck and you can't get it open there's a link above now about how to do that. If that doesn't work the first thing that we can try is to check the filter. If this is blocked or it's got debris in it this is the prime suspect for the water not draining properly. Before we check the drainage filter there's a few things that you must do. You must switch it off at the mains and unplug the washing machine just to be 100% safe. And then what we need to do is isolate the cold water supply. What you need to do is locate the cold water feed into the washing machine. Track that back to the mains cold water and you should have a tap here and just turn that 90 degrees to turn it into the off position. And that is the water now isolated. If you cannot find that, locate your main stopcock and turn it off there. It's also a good idea to know where your main stopcock is in case you've got any plumbing problems or leaks. If you can't find your main stopcock, try and locate it in the street and turn it off there. But obviously don't do that if you live in a block of flats, otherwise nobody's going to have any water. If you've managed to get the door open, empty all the wet clothes. And if you've still got some water left in the drum, just use a sponge and empty that into the sink or a bucket. What we'll do now is check the filter. Just take a flat bladed screwdriver and pop over the front cover, which is at the bottom of the washing machine. And this is where the filter is. Then pull the washing machine out slightly. Be careful not to pull any of the pipe work from the back and lean it backwards. Then take a washing up bowl and place that underneath because we're going to get a lot of water here. On some washing machines, you may have a small drainage hose like this one here next to the filter, in which case you can use that to drain any excess water from the drum before you actually remove the filter. So just pop the top off, then be ready for lots of water to come out and catch that in a tray or a washing up bowl. But on our particular hot point Aquarius, we haven't got one of those. So we're just going to have to remove the filter. Do this anti-clockwise. Now I can already feel that this has got something stuck within it. If you cannot get it released, try tightening it up and then untightening it. And then whatever is stuck inside hopefully will drop out and it will release the pressure. The main culprits in here will be face masks or coins or hair clips. Now I've managed to get this loose. You might have to get a bit more brutal with this. You can always try a pair of pliers, but just be careful because it's a plastic mechanism and you may end up cracking it. So just be very careful undoing this. So I've managed to get it loose. And there we go, there is the culprit. It's a 10p coin and that is not going to help with the drainage, but we're not finished just yet. I'm just leaning the washing machine forward a bit more here and we're getting plenty of water coming out. Once the filter is removed, then just have a look inside this filter area and you've got the impeller at the back there. That should spin freely. I can feel that this is not spinning that freely. There's definitely something stuck in there as well. I'm just going to get my fingers right inside, which is pretty difficult. So I've got sausage fingers and there we go. Look at that an old hair clip and that will definitely be a reason why your washing machine is not draining water. Look at it, it's all bent. Cause... Next thing to do is take your partner's toothbrush. Lux, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? And we're going to be using this to clean the inside of the filter area. So just make sure you get rid of any sludge and make sure that that's as clean and spick and span as possible. And make sure that that impeller can spin freely. So give that a good clean. Then use the same toothbrush to give the filter a good clean. Just with some hot soapy water. Just make sure this is in really good condition. Get rid of any sludge and mould. I'm also going to clean the dispenser drawer while I'm at it. And there's a link above now about how to remove the dispenser drawer on this washing machine and give it a good clean. Don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back. Of course, I'm only joking. I didn't really use my partner's toothbrush. Then the filter is ready to go back in. Just line it up then twist it and turn it clockwise. 
and then it should lock into position in the vertical position. There we go, all locked in. And hopefully that has fixed your washing machine, not draining water. Remember to plug it back in and switch it on. And remember to turn the cold water feed back on. And then it's definitely worth doing an empty wash with nothing in it using Dr. Beckman's washing machine cleaner on a 90 degrees centigrade washing program. That will just keep it hygienically fresh and flush the whole system through. If that hasn't worked, the next thing to try is checking your drainage pipe work. And there's generally two different types of drainage pipe work. This type where the washing machine drainage hose goes in under the sink. And I'll show you that in a few minutes. Or there's this type where you've just got a big drainage pipe U-bend. And your drainage hose from the back of your washing machine just literally sits in the top of that. So we'll look at that version first. Take your washing machine drainage hose out. This one's looking not too bad inside. Have your washing up bowl ready or a bucket because as you lower it down, lots of water will come out and this may stink a bit. And we've got lots of sludge on the outside of this pipe so just give that a really good clean. The easiest way to check this pipe work without having to remove it all is take your mobile phone and just put it into video mode with the flashlight on and just video down inside and then check the footage to see if it looks like there's clear water in the bottom or lots of sludge. This one doesn't actually look too bad but I'm just going to take it off anyway just so you can see how it works. Take a small tray and put this underneath the U-bend. Then just unscrew these tighteners here. Hopefully these will be nice and easy to remove and somebody hasn't glued them together on the threads. Have your tray ready because you will get some water out of here and it may stink. So it's not going to be pleasant. Now I'm just going to remove the whole tube here and the water inside actually looks pretty clear in this one I'm just going to empty it in the sink so that's really good news there's no sludge in there but if there was lots of sludge in there just give that a really good clean out and then we're ready to install that back on I've just tightened it all up here and then the most important thing is do not forget to put your drainage hose from the back of the washing machine back down inside this drainage pipe work. Otherwise, the next time you run a washing machine program, you're going to get water all over your floor. So just pop it down inside. Don't push it all the way down to the bottom. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the other type of drainage hose system, which will be connected underneath your sink. Now these will usually have a clip on, I've already removed the clip. Just pull this drainage hose off and again empty it into a bucket and just check that that hose is not full of sludge and blocked up. This one's pretty good. And then as before with the U-bend that I showed you on the other version, you just need to unscrew this pipework here and you're just checking for any sludge inside this U-bend. If there is any sludge then get rid of that and then reinstall it. If you missed the beginning of the video and you've skipped straight to this part, remember to plug the washing machine back in and switch it on. And remember to put your cold water feed back on. So just turn that tap 90 degrees. And then it's definitely worth running an empty washing machine program at 90 degrees centigrade or a drum clean option with some Dr. Beckman's cleaner just to flush the whole system through and keep it hygienically fresh. And then hopefully your washing machine is draining water properly. If your washing machine still isn't draining water and you live in a property where you can get outside and check the drainage, make sure that that is not blocked up. And also lift any manhole covers which are on your property, and make sure that's not blocked up. If they are blocked, I recommend you get a CCTV TV drainage survey and get that all cleared out. If that's all clear, it could actually be the drainage pump in the washing machine or a computer board fault. In which case, unfortunately, it's time to call out a washing machine service technician. And a top tip, after you've done any washing machine program, always leave the drum door and the dispenser drawer slightly ajar just to help with ventilation and stop any smells building. And after all that hard work, it is definitely time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh, 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.